So, I'm going to make a leather sheath for this knife. Um, the most difficult part is to cut the piece of leather to the correct size. Um, so, I like to use an old sheath that didn't really work out. This one I had some issues with. You can see I cut up the front so it looks no good anymore. So, um, this is kind of for a basic knife. Um, you know, it obviously is kind of correct, but you can see if I just kind of mulling around, I can see that I need more material, material around the bolster area to really get that to go. But I also have too much material up here, so I kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to get out of this sheath. So I can take this sheath, and I've kind of picked out a place for it somewhere roughly here, so I can kind of get a rough a rough idea of what I want. The belt loop I like and stuff, so I can scratch, um, lay that out. So now I have a rough, I don't know if you can see that, but I can see the lines here pretty well. And so I know I need to um, bring in the um, this a little bit so I can out. sketch that eh, about a quarter inch on that side as well. That's just... So you can just um, kind of mess with your sheath design, see what you need to do. And now um, I'll mirror that onto this side. And one thing I didn't do is lay out kind of the center line of it. So now I'm going to kind of mirror that and um, kind of get the final line on there. I might um, do it in Sharpie just so you can see. Okay. Okay, so that took a little while. But I got a pretty good idea of what it was. I just used this piece of paper. I got kind of the half shape onto it. And then I flipped it over and mirrored it. Pretty good. And I double check that. You can take the knife, set it on one side, kind of the way you want it to go. Looks pretty good. You, I might want to round that end a little bit. And then you can kind of roll it. And you can see that there's enough for this whole distance. Um, which is good. I think, now I'm looking at this, I might round off that end a little bit, because there's just, you know, if I have it right about there, that's plenty still down there. So, then I will just use a utility blade to cut this out, um, making sure that in the corners I don't go a little past that, because then you will, when you fold this over, if you've got a cut right here that goes in just a little ways, it looks pretty bad. So... That's an important thing to keep in mind. Um, you can see I did a little st stress relieving. I just take the blade, cut out a little bit there. Um, so I'll do that. And then you just, and then of course I keep checking, making sure it fits well. And um, then I will cut this piece. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, so I have this cut out, and I have made sure that the knife fits pretty well into it. Um, it does seem to, looking pretty good. And then you need to make this little piece, um, just a little piece of leather. Um, this You will put the threads through, um, and this keeps the knife blade from cutting them, and gives a little bit of room for the knife blade in there, kind of a pocket. Um, but more importantly, it <clears throat> keeps the knife from cutting the threads, and so this is completely necessary. The way I do it is I just um, go to where I cut out the sheath, and I just take the sheath and move it up a little, a little bit and over a little bit, and I can get, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I have a line here, just a quarter inch-ish offset from the inside of this, and if I cut that out, um, then I should get a perfect piece that'll fit in there really well because it was one cut was the outside of the sheath and the other one is a trace of the outside of the sheath. So I'm going to cut that out. So I sewed this um, thing just three stitches and I will show you it's the same sewing technique as I'll do for this edge. So I'll show you that a little bit. Um, 
I glued this closed, um, just used the same glue, um, the um, rubber cement, and um, you can see I got a pretty good thing around there. I made sure that all these are, you know, in the same plane so I don't have to sand off too much. Um, and now I am going to get it wet and, um, and then you take the knife and fit it into it, make sure that it's in a good spot, spot fit it to it. Um, the best I can. Then I'll take out the knife, make sure the knife's perfectly dry, and then let the sheath dry for 24 to 48 hours. So, so here I go, um, just putting it under the water. Um, I make sure that the entire um, sheath is completely wet in the same color because if um, some parts of it are a little bit drier, it leaves kind of a weird um, color difference even when it dries out. Not really sure why that is. So. Um, I make sure that it's um, completely wet so that it's really flexible. Um, just kind of testing it out here. So now I'm just going to put the knife into it to about the um, place I want it. I can kind of feel when the knife gets to the bottom of the sheath. And now I just go around it and pinch the leather around the um, bolster mostly and along the back of the knife um, just to get it in the right shape. It's a lot more flexible than before. and um, and then once I finish doing this, I will just slip out the knife and let the um, sheath dry. And it um, then will be retain that shape and be much stiffer than before. I'm just on my belt sander here, sanding down the edge of the sheath. Um, once it's water hardened, it's um, pretty hard and you can easily sand it. I'm using a 36 grit belt and just going down until it's all in the same plane. Here I am using my calipers to lay out where I want to put the threads. So I just put this length line on it and then I set the calipers to a thread width that I like and then I just walk the points of the um, back of the ID um, part of the calipers, not, I'm not really sure what you call that, just down the sheath like this. Um, it leaves a pretty good mark and it's pretty easy. I'm using my drill press to drill out where I want to thread it. This makes it much easier. Um, I just You just pick a drill bit that works well with your threading needle. Um, this is to the pattern that I laid out in the last clip. As you can see, it turned out pretty nice. Here I am threading the sheath. I have a single piece of string that I put through the first hole and got an even length on either side. And then I have this needle with a small hook on the end. I'll go through one way, hook one thread, pull it through, and then go in the other way and grab the other thread. Here you're going to see it. Um, there's two threads on that side now. One of them goes to the first hole, one in the second hole. I take the one from the first hole, wrap it over, pull it through, and now I have a stitch done. So that's just how I do it. Um, I pull it tight, um, and then I just do that all the way down the knife. So here you can see the um, hook um, needle here. You can see it's just a small hook. Um, grabs the thread and you can pull it through. I finished the threading here and I just take this piece of um, half inch cold roll that I polished up and I rub it on the um, sanded edge of the sheath here and this um, polishes the sh leather and makes it much smoother. It's actually surprising how well it works um, and um, I just work on this. It takes yeah, five minutes and then I work make sure to work on the edges as well get them nice rounded over. Um, I work a little bit around the top of the knife as well. Um, you can get it kind of shiny. Um, I was having a little bit of trouble with this one but once I put on the sealant it polishes up even better. So I'm going to dye these. I use just, <clears throat> I like the light brown, just some stuff I bought off Amazon. So um, I'm wearing latex gloves because this stuff is a dye, so of course we'll dye you. Um, so yeah, I got a little dauber here and just start applying it.
just finished dyeing it here. Um, I got in all the crevices I could down the top of the sheath. Um, you want to make sure there's no undyed spots. So they look kind of amateur. So here I'm using some snow seal. This is just um, waterproofing wax for like boots or whatever. Um, I'm not really sure we got this. It looks older than me. Um, so I'm just going to rub it into the sheath here. I just grab a dollop in my hand and just rub it all over the sheath. So I make sure it's in all the threads. That's the first thing I work on. Make sure that it's um, in all the holes because that's, um, yeah, that's a pretty easy place for water to get in. And then um, I just start rubbing it around all over the sheath. Um, rub it down in the cavities everywhere I can reach because if it, if it, if the leather gets wet, it will um, change shape and become soft again, and you don't want that. So here's some pictures of the finished sheath. Turned out really well. Um, that dye lightens up as it dries. Um, out in the sun, it just looks beautiful. Um, so this goes with the Damascus steel knife I made in a, my other video. And um, so I hope the guy I'm making this for will be happy with it. See you guys later.